Hello friends, let us discuss Money Madness written by D. H. Lawrence. David Herbert Lawrence was an English writer and poet. His collective works represent, among other things, an extended reflection upon the dehumanizing effects of modernity and industrialization. Lawrence's writings explores issues as sexuality, emotional health, vitality, spontaneity, and instinct. D. H. Lawrence is regarded as one of the most influential writers of the 20th century. He published many novels and poetry volumes during his lifetime, including the great works as Sons and Lovers and Woman in Love. Money Madness by D. H. Lawrence is a critical evaluation of the rush after affluences that is visible all around us in this modern day world. Money has become a powerful player in society of today and holds more importance than anything else in the modern day lifestyle. The poet, through his pen, has tried to exemplify this situation and present the social and moral degradation that such madness of a thing so materialistic renders. Money madness speaks to the condition of how wealth inverts control. Wealth and money is such a seductive force in Lawrence's poem that we are not in control of it, but rather it is in control of us. The poet has brought out a money-centered society wherein all individual is measured based upon one's money power. He says that money madness is the worst collective madness. Each individual carries her or his share of insanity. If one has to hand out a pound note, no one face the pang and to hand out a 10 pound one. It is a real tremor. Money has made us slaves. It has a cruel power. The mankind measures an individual with money. If he has no money, he has to eat dirt and go cold. If we do not have money, they will give a little bread so that we do not die. The poet is afraid of eating dirt without money. It is this fear that can become a delirium. In the first stanza, the poet says, money is our madness, our vast collective madness. And of course, if the multitude is mad, the individual carries his own grain of insanity around with him. I don't. If any man leaving hands out a pawn note without a bank and real tremor, if he hands out a 10 pound note, we quail. Money makes us quail. It has got us down. We grew well before it in strange terror. And no wonder, for money has a fearful, cruel power among man. The poet says, that whatever or whenever we look, there is a madness for money. In fact, money can be termed as a metaphor for the word madness. And this madness is not on small or individualistic levels. It is the madness of the multitude in numbers unimaginable and at levels incredible. And since the multitudes as a whole is mad, so every person in this world carries his share of the same madness. His share of this insane race after money. The poet doubts that there exists a human in this world who hands out a pawn note to someone without feeling a pang at hurt. No, no matter how noble he may feel while giving away that note, his heart always wishes if one he could do all that good without having to take out a note from his own pocket. And when that note turns to a 10 pound note, we experience real tremors within us. We tremble for insight 
while giving away that note. As if we have been robbed, money makes us kneel in front of it or itself. It makes us fearful and a sense of apprehension and stress grips us as we try to overcome a loss as materialistic and small as 10 pounds. It has an exaggerating power to influence our life. So he tells here in this first stanza, this money has created a power. All the activities of we human beings are centered towards the money only. At the end of the day, if you ask anybody why he is doing all this course or why he is working, the answer is for money. In the next stanza, he says, but it is not money we are so terrified of. It is the collective money madness of mankind. For mankind says with one voice, how much is he worth? Has he no money? Then let him eat dirt and go cold. And if I have no money, they will give me a little bread so I do not die. But they will make me eat dirt with it. I shall have to eat dirt, I shall have to eat dirt if I have no money. It is that, that I am frightened of and that fear can become a delirium. But in the broader sense, it is not the money that we terrified of, but it is the madness that mankind shows for it. The multitude is mad that gives money such a an undeserved status in the society of today. And from here arises the feeling that money is all that matters today. It means peace of body and of mind. Every time the society sees the man, no one cares for his moral values and behavior. All that decides his social status is that how much he is worth or is he worth. If he has no money, then he will deserve all the guilt, criticism and blame that comes with poverty. Let him go cold, says the society. The poet goes on to say how, that if one has no money, the world would give him little money, only enough to perhaps buy a piece of bread in the name of humanity. But even this small offering doesn't come for free. He has to eat dirt, get it, suffering through pains, unheard and criticisms and upread. The poet says it is this pitiful and inhuman situation that he is afraid of. He fears that such madness for money might result in the world going completely insane. It is this fear of money, mad fellow money going into a state of delirium that resides within him. In this stanza, he clearly mentions that poor people, I mean the people without money, are forced to involve eating dirt, which means in illegal activities. And this world will not allow them to die also freely. It gives them bit, little money to survive. But it forces them to involve in illegal and immoral activities, he says. In the next stanza, he says, it is fear of money and man, fellow man. We must have some money to save us from eating dirt. And this is all wrong. Bread should be free, shelter should be free, fire should be free to all and anybody, all and anybody, all over the world. We must regain our sanity about money before we start killing one another about it. It is one thing, the author. So in the last stanza, he says that if we are not save ourselves from humiliations, criticism, guilt and blames in this modern day world, we must have money. Because money parallels power. And the poet strongly criticizes such a morally and socially degraded state of modern day society. He proclaims that bread, shelter and fire should be free. 
to anybody and everybody all over the world which means the bread food and home at the same time the cooking arrangements must be provided free of cost then there is a solution of this money madness we must regain our sanity when it comes to money we must replace our madness with logic otherwise soon enough we will start killing one another for the sake of money it is either one way or the other in the last part he says that we have to come out from this madness or else will start killing each other for the money purpose because money is everything our society thinks our human uh, or mankind thinks in that way if we do not come out of this kind of madness definitely one or the other day we start killing each other for the sake of money he says with this warning the poem ends thus the poem money madness show us the picture of a world obsessed with money and lastly he appeals that every human being to have a strong mindset which understand the reality of life that money is needed to live but money is not life